that's why I wanted to do it, you know, to see what happened, you know, I was like, okay, let's see, you know, how... Hey guys, how are you? We just finished the 369 cleanse. Yesterday was our last day, so we just thought we would do a little Share video it. about how it went for us and final thoughts. We got into it because we came across Anthony Williams, the medical medium, and we learned about all the things he stands for, um, the importance of the liver, how a good functioning liver is supposed to flush out the toxins in your body and kind of, it's like your waste, your body's waste system. I bought his book, well we bought his book, mm -hmm. and I read all of it. He didn't read it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I read all of it and I was like, we have to go on this 369 cleanse. It's nine days and it's a mixture of juices and food, but specific food. And the whole point of it is that it's divided into the, you know, every three, three days is a different process for your body. So first three days, you cut down your fats and your salt intake uh, by half. By half. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, throughout the whole cleanse, you have celery juice in the morning because that is what Anthony Williams is all about. Celery juice, it's very healing, it's very good for the body. The next three days, so days four, five, and six, you completely go off fats and you have specific foods that you need to eat, so specific recipes. Day seven and day eight, same thing, like specific recipes, and day nine is the only day where it's just juices. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I mean, I was super excited, super excited was to so start excited. it when I saw the book and then she started like, telling me about like, it. He was like, I can't wait, I can't wait to do this cleanse. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's going to be great. <laughs> and then when we started, I just wanted to finish because... <laughs> <laughs> he was so over it, um, <laughs> so quick. I mean, because you, you remove all the fats, you remove mm -hmm. all the salts, everything, you know? So mm -hmm. basically, you're, the food doesn't have much flavor and... <laughs> you know that was for me really hard but overall it's i mean it's okay you know it's, it doesn't taste like completely bad or like mm -hmm. horrible uh to be honest it, it can be enjoyable um obviously it depends you know what do you say to yourself overall it was it was really cool you know to do it i thought it was gonna feel like tired or something because you know i, I wasn't having a lot of food yeah or at least not very like substantial food Mm -hmm. There are no grains either, no grains or beans, which is something... Only meal it in yeah, the first, three, in the first days. three days. And that's something that we eat a lot, uh, grains and beans. So having just vegetables and fruit was kind of a change for us, especially because yeah. we do exercise in the morning, so we kind of feel like we need something. I felt like my body was kind of being like, what, what are you doing? Because <laughs> we, we, like, it was like, why are you eating more fruit? You're, <laughs> when is the real food coming? Like, when is the good, like, good stuff? Because um, also, it like goes through your body so quickly. Because you go to the bathroom a lot during the cleanse. Um, yeah, you do. Yeah, I think it was trying to find something to hold on to for me. Like, yeah, fruit and veggies that you're not used to eating so much of. Maybe. First three days were kind of easy because you still eat kind of the whole food and you know you still have the permission of feeding some salts oils by half and actually we didn't do it we yeah, eat we very barely minimal um but i think we wanted to do this cleanse you know we wanted to see what happens and to help our body you know and i think just to pamper our body you know because i yeah. think most of the times we're pampering ourselves you know like our mind you know, what we want you know i want this i'm craving this and we just want more oil, more fat, mm -hmm. something fried, or oh, our favorite foods. But we don't really take care of sometimes of the organs, you yeah. know. And then yeah, the that stuff was that we can't see. And that was very. That's what. That's why I wanted to do it, you know, to see what happened, you know. I was like, okay, let's see how can improve my life, you know, how can improve my body. I felt pretty good. I mean, even yesterday, I wasn't that hungry. Yeah. I felt in my stomach sometimes, like two or three times a day, kind of like an empty space there. <laughs> kind of like, mm, but with all the juices, we were drinking a lot of juices. Mm -hmm. I think it went okay. Because he does say, you know, to kind of lie low for day nine because you are only having juices. Um, 
and it was fine. I was very excited to have something that wasn't like a salad. <laughs> and I love the watermelon juice. That was my favorite. So best and worst things for you. What, what was your best and your worst? The smoothie. The smoothie. The breakfast smoothie. Yeah, yes. that's the liver smoothie with the bananas wild blueberries mm -hmm. and dragon fruit dragon fruit yeah it was so good yeah i was surprised at how good that was i'm gonna definitely make that again my favorite was that and the watermelon juice on day nine because i love <laughs> watermelon and it was just so sweet after all of that not so sweet stuff i mean except for the smoothie but what is your ranking in juices <laughs> my juice rank is um so this is mainly for day nine um because you have the options of watermelon juice uh, any other melon, blended melon, uh, blended papaya, orange juice, and we didn't do orange juice, blended pear, which we didn't do either, and uh, apple cucumber juice. Yeah. And of course the celery juice, because you have that twice a day in the last three days. So mine would definitely be number one, watermelon juice, number one. Number two, I think it would be the blended melon. We did cantaloupe, which was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was super creamy. And then maybe apple, cucumber, and then celery. Oh wait, we did papaya. papaya. Then papaya, blended papaya, and then celery juice. I don't like celery, so this was a stretch for me. <laughs> but I did, I did all the celery that I needed to. My favorite was, I would say the apple, cucumber, mm -hmm. then the watermelon, then the melon, then the papaya, <laughs> and then the, the celery. Yeah. Yeah. For me, my, my low point was day five, I believe. I was just feeling like I, I, I didn't feel like this really any of the other days, but I felt so tired and, and uh, like weak mm. on day five. I felt like I didn't have energy for anything. Like I couldn't even think straight. Like I was trying to work and I just couldn't even focus um, that day. But the next day, Day six, I woke up and I was perfectly fine. So, because he does say that, you know, if you are feeling tired and sluggish or a little bit dizzy, that it is, you know, pathogens dying and, and toxins kind of leaving your body. So, I'm sure it was something like that. Now, f for eating now, I definitely want to have more steamed food. I think we don't eat steamed food enough. I do like a, a nice, uh, just, you know, rice, beans, and some steamed veggies and greens with a dressing. I love that, I love that food. And I think I haven't been eating that as much as I would want to. Maybe not so many fats in the morning because I feel like that we kind of overdid it because I put, you know, I would have like cereal or something and I would put chocolate chips in it and I would put cacao powder and I would put nut butters and all this stuff in it. And I think I kind of overdid it so I, I made my body and work. You got cereal every day, so that's yeah. why. And, and <laughs> I, I made my body work a lot first thing in the morning. So I think I'm gonna cut down on that, save that for later on in the day. How about you? Good. Same, steam, steam mm -hmm. vegetable. And I think more balanced the way I eat, the fats that I eat. But yeah, just try to eat, I think I'm gonna try to use more balanced, eat more grains, more, more, more. Uh, fresh salad. Greens. Yeah, greens yeah. and fresh salads. Yeah, I it was really funny because I don't usually like salad because it's like I don't really like like a lot of raw food and not any cooked food. So for me, it was very hard to eat those salads like, day after day. And I think I think it kind of reminded me why I don't like it. So I don't know if I'm gonna eat more salad. I mean. I, I love salads, even if they're just like one <laughs> one cooked element, you know, in it, then it's fine. She but knows she has to eat it, but she doesn't want to do it, so. <laughs> no. It's like water, you know, she knows she drink, needs to drink water. I am And I'm telling water. her to drink water, but she doesn't want to, so it's fine. I am drink water. So. Um, what about juices? Are you going to have celery juice in your day-to-day -day life? I think I'm going to try to do it once a week. Because we bought a juicer, so now we have one. I'm very excited to be juicing more stuff. We started it not because we wanted to heal something specifically, but I do think it made a difference in our bodies. Do you feel different? I feel lighter. Yeah. <laughs> I feel way lighter and maybe a little bit more aware, like my conscious cast expand for say like that. More aware of, you know, like of my thoughts. But more like awake. 
Yeah. Yeah. I had checked my body pH before I started the cleanse and I was kind of like a little bit acidic. And then I, I checked it yesterday, the last day of the cleanse, and huge difference. Like on the other end of the scale. I, I know that something happened for sure. <laughs> and I, I mean, I do feel different. I do feel lighter, I think, also. I think I feel more uh, awake, maybe, too. I'm glad to be able to go back into my routine, but I don't want to kind of do stuff to put me back to where I was. I want to keep myself on this good streak. So I'm gonna definitely try to watch what I eat more and be more mindful. Also because this is what we do for a living. You know, we make all different kinds of food. Uh, we just eat what we make for our blog or for you know, Instagram or whatever it is. So we're not really thinking, oh, what do we actually want to eat? <laughs> you know, If you're thinking I about doing it, I, I would recommend it for sure. It's like the most important thing you can do to take care of yourself. So why wouldn't you, right? Exactly. Yeah. Invest in yourself, you know? Yeah, and take care of the one body that you have. Exactly. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>